Saturn in Aquarius 26. A hydrometer. Technological skills. When primitives faced the daily risk of starvation, cold and wild animals, their survival instincts created a compelling motivation to develop technologies to cope. From building fires to making wheels and yokes for oxen, there was a slow but inexorable trek to inventing cars and mobile phones. Whether it is a hydrometer to maintain our car batteries or a charger for our phones, the operation of technology demands of us the mental capacity to manage machines. This shapes the collective mind of humanity, and this shaping process, which must not lead us to deny what is entirely of the earth, is nonetheless a necessary aspect of our evolution. We have to understand that living in nature is what animals do. They have to cope with nature. That's their job. And we have that to do as well. However, we also have the task of learning how to cope with technology. The development of technology, when it's slow and steady, requires us to just change our ways in a slow and steady way. That's relatively easy to do. And I remember my grandmother delighting when she could give up Monday wash day, which was torture for her and her generation, because she had a washing machine. And that was great. That kind of technological development was great. It just removed horrible things from your life. But we've gone beyond that now. We've gone to the point where, unless you can master fairly subtle and difficult tasks of the mind to understand how things work technologically, actually, you, you can't cope with life. And for young people, this is surprising. They don't understand. But for those, anyone over about 50, 60 certainly, it's a challenge to know how to operate the machines that are inescapable. However, there's an aspect of our spiritual evolution as people that requires us to, to master technology. It is there in the mind, the capacity for technology gives us a requirement for technology on one level. And we have to learn how to think in keeping with that. It's a discipline of mind to understand technological workings. So, although when Saturn goes into this degree now, it's a bit of a warning, a reminder of what happens when technology goes too far, that's obvious with climate change and so on. But it isn't really that that we're studying here. It is the, the need for us to find the discipline and patience to make things work when they're not intuitively obvious. New things. Every generation has its technology to master. Just because we've got this um, explosion of technology now does not mean that this was not true centuries, millennia ago. If somebody has been doing something in the same old way and that they you know they can cope and there's a new idea come along. You know, here's fire, you've got to learn how to cook. Here's wheat, you've got to learn how to grind and, and make bread. You know, these were technological developments that they had to be dealt with a long, long, long time ago. And so with my grand's example, she had to work out all the buttons on the washing machine and so on. Well, we have that to deal with. And that develops a certain quality of thinking clearly, being patient, overcoming our urge to be spontaneous and, and intuitive and, and, and read the instructions, basically. And as a species, we're not very good at reading the instructions. Some people are. They can work things out on a technical, technological level. And these are becoming the power possessors in the world today. But most people are not, really. 
they want to know intuitively how something works. And it's a real effort to get the mind to discipline itself and read the instructions. Think. Think about what you're being told. Think about whether it worked when you tried to do something. Thinking about whether you need tools and other people. This is a quality of life that trains us in a certain attitude of mind. And that's the mystery that we're discussing here today. Now Jones um, put this uh, explanation forward. A hydrometer. This is a symbol of the powers of immediate analysis which enable man to achieve his commonplace or practical goals. Here he has full assurance of an intelligence and order to be found throughout the world of everyday realities, and he comes to see that a very real cooperation of natural conditions and forces may be enlisted for any project of special concern. The individual learns that when he will take responsibility for events, he may shape them to his own convenience, and thus find ways to capitalise on any difficulties that may arise. The key word is efficiency. So, going beyond even technology, we're, we're discussing problems that can be dealt with anyhow, in any way, develop the ability that we have to get the job done efficiently. And this requires analysis, as well as the other side of life, the intuitive side that thinks, yeah, we, we want that done, that's probably intuitive. The analysis is how to get things done, what tools we need, what will work, what doesn't work. And so we've got this twin aspect of the brain, the intuitive and the analytical working in harmony. When these two halves of the brain are so connected, they, they, they want to communicate with each other. And so they, they take the most direct route, which is through the pineal gland. The third eye is likely to open more readily if you do this, if you balance the right brain and the left brain, brain the intuitive and the rational. So it's all about that and being given tasks in life to encourage the, the need, or well, to suggest the need for that and encourage you to develop the ability to rise to that need, that's at play here. And Saturn's there. So it's not easy. It's something that you've, you've been putting off, perhaps. Something that you need to learn now. It, it, it's um, a requirement for you to understand how, what, what's going on, how to make it work, the analysis part of your mind is going to be brought into account to understand how to fix things and do things, probably using technology, because that's what we do typically to more efficiently manage our daily challenges. So just for this next week, we perhaps might want to just learn something that's a bit tricky to learn, to deal with a problem by analysing it. And, and thinking clearly, why is it a problem? What makes it a problem? How can we deal with it? Or the choices that we have? Do we need to pick up the phone and get somebody to help? Or buy a tool? Just analyse your life to see what can be dealt with in a different way to what you've been trying. And if you've been hoping for a solution to come along, it may not be that that's the best strategy. Maybe you need to deal with it yourself to fix something that needs to be fixed. <laughs>